So hey everyone, today I'm going to share you clinical SAS syllabus, what you should learn from base SAS, what you should learn from advanced SAS, and what you should learn from clinical SAS, and what you should learn in the project part, okay, in the SDM Adam table listing part. So let's go on the screen and let's start today's video. So guys, as you can see in the screen, first we are going to start with base S and now let's discuss what are the things you should learn in base S. So the first thing you should learn that is creation of data, how you can create a data using input and cards, okay, because that is a standard or basic way of creating a data. Then you should know input method, okay, how many input methods are there, the ways of creating variable, list input method, column input method, formatted input method and name input method okay and guys apart from this i'll also tell you which are the things that is very important and you should specifically focus on that okay and then in file statement okay flow over miss over stop over turn cover then character functions character functions are very important guys the one uh, which i'll be giving three star that means it is very important so character functions are very important you can see all these functions scan substr compress translate because in our day-to-day -day life okay as an sas programmer or clinical sas programmer you'll be using these functions a lot of times now the same for numeric functions it is also very important okay character function is very important then numeric function then date function it is also very important okay and if i'm telling that is very important so that is especially for fresher okay because these are going to be for sure they are going to ask this okay in interviews so character function numeric function date function again guys i'm not reading all the functions name okay like date functions name all these functions name you can simply if you want i can add this uh, document okay in the in the channel about section or you can simply join our telegram channel there is a link in the description i'll give this syllabus in the telegram okay i'll share in the telegram group so you can join that date functions after that concatenation functions cat cat t cat s and cat x you should know what are the difference between each of them okay then missing not missing then conditional statement you know a lot of conditional statements are there if if then if then else if then do where select when otherwise first dot last dot you should know all this conditional statement as well so we are talking about the important things so yeah i'm marking concatenation functions uh, are also very important then this is also important missing not missing then conditional statement again this is very important conditional statement so make sure you have done this see in the learning part whatever i have mentioned in the syllabus or index na, you should learn all the things for sure but if you talk in terms of interview part that i'm telling here which is very important if you are going to give interview as a fresher so operators are also important i'll give here two star then statement again two star and then options option is nothing but keep drop rename all these things you can use as an option as well right so this is also important okay so this option so you can see first ops ops keep drop this is coming on the next page actually okay then importing and exporting of data importing data in sas and exporting data from sas that is also very important and you should know so this is also three star Creating library, this is also very important. You should know how many types of libraries are there, temporary and permanent library, and how you can create library. Because this is also you are going to use in day-to-day -day life. If not day-to-day -day life, but knowing about this is very important. Because every time you're storing a data, either that is going to store in permanent or temporary library. Combining data set vertically using set, very important. Not very important, let's give to start but merging data using merge uh, that is very important then pdv this is also very important okay in terms of interview for learning part again i am repeating all these things are important only then converting variable types input and put so from converting from character to numeric or numeric to ca uh, character using input you can convert the character variable into numeric using put you can convert numeric variable into character so again this is also important so proc steps are all the proc steps are important if you want to know specifically which are the proc steps that is used multiple times in day-to-day -day life while working or in terms of interview as well so i'll give here a single uh, asterisk symbol so that is used widely 
ओके मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स इन दी डी लाइफ सो द वन विच आई मार्क विद एस्ट्रिक सिंबल ना दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट अदर्स आर ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट बट दीज वी यूज डे टू डे लाइफ दीज प्रॉक स्टेप्स होप यू गॉट क्लियर विद दिस अगेन आई एम नॉट रिपीटिंग ऑल द प्रॉक स्टेप्स नेम ओके because i believe you can simply read this if not you can join our telegram group in the telegram group i'll share the syllabus okay now moving to advanced ss so base ss is nothing but guys base ss you'll be learning coding okay you'll be learning basics of coding see without learning the base ss you cannot move to advanced ss what does it mean by advanced ss after learning base ss you know coding how to do coding now you'll be learning how to do advanced level of coding so in advanced as you'll be learning advanced level of programming that how to do advanced level of programming like how to automate your codes or how to uh, automate repetitive task and you'll be learn also learning proc sql so you can see if the first thing you'll be learning sql in sql how to create data how to use filters how to give conditions again in sql the very important thing is sql joins because in 90% of the interview for sure they are going to ask sql joins and if you are going to give the interview for banking role na using sas it's not like they they'll be not asking sas question but yeah in the sql part they'll be also giving the good weightage and especially on sql joins so this is for everyone sql joins is very important either you are giving interview for clinical banking insurance any of them now macro macro is also very important but again uh, let me give three star to the sql okay everything is important in sql but sql joins are very important now macro macro is also very important so see macro is very important but that they'll not assume from you that you should fully know macro because macro is not something that you can easily understand are you getting my point that macro is something like once you do actively na then you will properly clear with the concept so yeah in the learning part as well the macro is very easy percent let macro mend and call simple these three types of macros are there that is very easy so yeah most of the concept 60 or 70% it will be clear while the learning as well and remaining it will be clear while you start working on the software so yeah this is also important macros do loop is also important not that much but yeah array can be very important from the advanced part so you can see in the advanced part macro is important do loop is important again array is important and again guys uh, the video i'm making today so those who don't know the software sas na they will not understand anything from the syllabus those who have already learned okay those can only understand the syllabus but again i can make it easy in the base sas that is basic level of programming advanced sas everything you are doing that is a little advanced level of programming from the name itself you can understand and everything is connected if base sas you have completed then only you can learn the advanced sas and if advanced sas you have done you can move to the clinical sas now moving towards clinical ss why we learn clinical ss if you want to work in a clinical research organization then for sure you should be having the knowledge of clinical ss now let us discuss what are the things you'll be learning in clinical ss so the first thing that you should learn clinical trial phases this is again very important crf very important c disk it is also very important protocol again important spec sheet again very important project this is very important because ultimately in the project what things i have mentioned na this is a actual task of clinical sas programmer or statistical programmer to create sdm data set adam data set table and listing all over the things you are learning na in the base sas all these topics and then in the advanced as all this topics and in the clinical as also all this topics you are learning ultimately you are learning to create this things as rdm adam table listing these are the final task or work you need to do as in statistical programmer or clinical as programmer and after doing this project as rdm adam table listing apart from this base advanced and clinical part if you are learning from any institute training institute this additional things should be there that is communication building session test in every 10 days or every 15 days there should be a communication building session how that gonna help that gonna build your communication and confidence because before the interview if there is a communication or confidence building session okay 
so if there will be a kind of gd as well that gonna help you let's suppose in a training institute if you're learning 20 people are there and if there is any communication building session in that you'll get the opportunity to connect to share your thoughts in front of 10 20 people like you're gonna understand like how you're communicating in front of 20 people or conveying your thoughts so it will help you to build your confidence as well and communication as well so how you're responding or reacting or conveying in front of a cohort of 20 people now again test that is also important that will let you know like how much ready you are how much preparation you are doing interview preparation and mock interviews okay again uh, interview preparation sessions should be also there from the trainer and okay and the mock interviews mock interviews can be like kind of verbal interviews okay then cv making session okay um, he should guide you your trainer that how to create your cv and he should also review your cv and then there should be how to effectively apply for jobs using LinkedIn. See, LinkedIn is a very powerful platform to apply for jobs. Believe my words or mark my words. 99% of job or 90% of job you can get through LinkedIn. Don't be just dependent upon trainers really telling you I'll give you a placement. Don't believe upon them. If you want to believe, believe on LinkedIn. And even I made a video like how to find jobs using LinkedIn. Then base as preparation. So this is actually our syllabus. We are also training to student for basis exam preparation. You know, there is a global basis certification. So that is an exam you can give. Okay. And again, that will help you 20 or 30 percent, maybe because ultimately the company gonna take your interview and they're gonna decide. It is not like you have done basis certification. So you're gonna select. That is not the case here. You have to give the interview. Then there should be doubt discussion session. So doubt should be like it could be daily as well and it can be weekly as well. And exam and certification. Kind of exam is nothing but a final interview. Okay, in the final interview, I'm giving the feedback to students. In the same way, like there should be a final exam kind of and they should uh, give you guidance and even they should provide you certification as well. So I think global SAS exam preparation I have written here. Okay. I think we have repeated this term base SAS exam preparation and global SAS exam preparation. So I'll just quickly update it. So global SAS exam preparation, as I told you, like we also train for the global SAS exam, how we need to give the exam, uh, which questions they're going to ask most probably, how will be the pattern how much time it will be there even if you want discount on the coupons like uh, for global says exam if you want some discount you can connect to us so these are the things you should know even i have uh, mentioned what is very important the things with the three star that is very important in the prospect of interview like if you're seeing like for interview purpose these are very important and you should learn all these things whichever i mentioned but these will be very important okay now apart from this if you're learning clinical SAS base or advanced SAS, what are the things you should do see you should actively practice never assume by yourself you have done enough practice a lot of students i have seen because i have trained to many students i have seen the students feel like i'm very confident and as in student you should feel you are very confident once i take their interview they are unable to perform so never be in the overconfidence of like you are very much ready you have already done everything practice it wisely okay slowly understand each and everything understand the logic daily you need to practice uh, a sudden uh, or in a four or five days you are doing practice nothing magic gonna happen ultimately the person who is giving time daily or every next day okay and the person who is giving time after five days or 10 days okay they're gonna lack so the lack means the time will increase for him the person who is not doing daily practice so daily practice is very important what you should practice whatever you're learning from your session you should practice and even you should create some scenario if you want let's suppose your trainer have given some condition if sex is equal to male so you can give the condition for age height weight don't be like rigid to okay what he trained you'll be doing that only just change the scenario and practice it so practice is the key of success and another thing is patience you need to make sure you have the time of eight months minimum if you don't have eight months of time please do not learn this software please do not start the training because what gonna happen you're gonna lose your patience and if you are not someone who have patience this role is not for you mark my words if you don't have patience this role is not for you if you don't have patience in learning if you don't have patience uh, in getting the job if you want a quick job within three or four months 
do not learn clinical SaaS or do not learn SaaS software. Okay, if you can wait for eight months from the day you are learning, then only start learning this software. This is a brutal truth. A lot of people uh, they are in like uh, hurry, like uh, I want the job in three four months or five months. What happened? A lot of students ask this question now. What happened? Institute made this thing as in business. Okay, no worries. They'll not tell you something that gonna make a negative impact on you. The way I'm saying, if they'll tell you, okay, you need to do a little hard work, little more practice. It gonna take time. So you might have a fear. You'll look for something else. Now, what they do now, they gonna tell, okay, we'll give placement as well. Uh, you you gonna learn it easily as well, and you'll get a job within four five months as well. everything it's like they are providing but ultimately everything comes to you and finally after completing the training you come to reality that it gonna take time this is a process even if you have learned in a better way so that's why four months of learning and four months of applying or cracking job so total eight months for sure and guys if you want to know about saas or clinical saas so we have already made a series clinical saas series for interview there is a separate series for clinical saas there is a separate series how to find institute how to find jobs how to give interviews how to crack interviews how to prepare okay should you learn online offline each of the topics we covered you can simply go and check those series even i'll uh, give the link in the description of both the series clinical saas interview as well and uh, the overall series as well so hope this video going to help you so thank you everyone bye bye everyone